After two weeks of waiting, we finally have the Trading Hub and the Mythic Pet update underway, and it will be releasing sometime tomorrow on Friday, probably around 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Cruz here, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over every single brand new leak that we have, including Mythical Pets, words from the developers about future updates, and obviously the Trading Hub itself. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button. Let's hit 10 likes on this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications to never miss a future upload also feel free to commenting down below letting me know like what type of video you guys would like to see me record in the future also make sure you guys do join the discord via the link in the description down below it would be greatly appreciated now before i start the video i do just want to point out that these pets that i'm going to be showing you guys like the mythic pets are going to have their textures or they are going to have their models but they are not fully textured yet so some of these pets are go not going to have some of their colors to them so keep that in mind but anyways guys with that out of the way that's going to bring us into our next topic our first topic which is going to be the brand new mythical pets now like i said if you guys do want to see the other mythical pets i highly recommend you guys click the link in the description down below to my video from two weeks ago because we got more leaks about the mythical pets then than we do now but anyways, guys, the first pet that we have is actually going to be called the Mythic Malevolent Cosmo, which just looks absolutely dope. So I hope you guys saved your Cosmos from this update. The second pet that we're going to be getting, which is a Mythic, is going to be called the Bigger Bra. Now, sadly, there is no face to this or any textures like I stated, but there is the pet, and the pet does look, it, it looks okay. Now, the last one that we have here is going to be called the Mythic Summer Stolcist, and I'm really mad that I was not able to get one of these because this pet just looks absolutely insane. And yes, obviously that pet did have some color to it, but still, I am, I'm, I'm just a little, little irritated I wasn't able to get that pet just because how cool it looks. Now, keep in mind, I do just want to let you guys know that these pets are going to be craftable from using some sort of mythic items, and I believe some pets, if I am correct, and these pets are going to be doing two times the damage as the regular pet. So say this pet, I don't know what the Summer Solstice does, but let's just say it does 32,000. If you make it a mythic, this pet is going to do 62 or 64,000 damage. So keep in mind that not only are we going to be getting a double charm slot from this, we're going to be having another charm for a total of four, but we're also going to have these pets do a total of times two the damage. Now, the next thing that we're going to be talking about is actually going to be the new update, which is going to be the trading plaza. Now, the first image, I have three images for you guys. The first image I'm going to be showing you guys is what it is going to look like, which is the booths. And what it looks like is it looks like we have three different slots that we can use where we can offer something and then what we want. Now, the second image I'm going to be showing you guys is actually going to be the thing that we can offer, including pets, overpay, upgrades, downgrade, and wishlist. So you can put on your own booth that you are willing to overpay or that you are down to underpay. And you have to look for somebody like below. You'll like look for somebody that's willing to overpay or they're underpay or whatever. So it looks like it is going to be similar to Pet 99, um, but the difference between the games is it looks like it's going to be using pets, which is really, really nice instead of using a gem currency. I always found that dumb about Pet Simulator, so I really do find uh, this update to be pretty cool and that we're actually going to be able to trade these pets. Now, the last image I have for you guys, it isn't really a trading hub update or a leak, but I do just want to show this off because this update kind of looks pretty cool. Now, the image that you guys just seen on screen was something called Browse Pets, which allows us to go into any server that we like, and we can just look up a pet, and if the person has that pet, we will be able to trade them. So, what I mean by this is, I mean, so you go into a server, and you click on this icon, and you type in Godly Gem. If somebody in your server has a Godly Gem, it will show that user, and you will be able to trade them, and hopefully offer for it, if they're willing to trade it. But obviously, if there isn't any Godly Gem in your server, it's going to say no matches found and you're going to have to find a new server now the last thing i'm going to be going over is actually going to be the screenshots talking about this update talking about a new battle pass and talking about new series eggs so make sure you guys hit that like button down below because this is probably some of the best content we've ever gotten in pet catchers but anyways the first thing that isaac said he said there's in-game trading chat coming too so you don't have to chat in public chat which is just absolutely insane, especially for you console players such as myself, because for all of you guys that don't know, we can't use the chat up here. We can't chat on PlayStation. 
So this is really, really nice to hear because I would love to have one of these trades and be able to see like what people are actually trying to trade me for instead of trying to use my live chat as, you know, trading. Now, the second one that we have is there's new global pets coming out this update as well as a season pass. So not only are we going to be getting new global pets, but we're also going to be getting a brand new season pass as well, which is just going to be absolutely insane and is going to bring back the fun grind to the game. I've always had fun grinding the game when, you know, the passes have come out, but like when it comes to like just unnecessary grinding, like fishing and eggs and all that, it just gets boring after a while. So I'm really glad to see that they are bringing back passes. Now, Isaac also stated season passes will have special eggs with their own loot pool and they are known as series eggs there will be series one eggs this update passes will be resettable with gems and robux infinity gems five times so pretty much what he's talking about here is we're not only going to be getting a new season pass, but we're also going to be getting something called series eggs, which if you guys have ever played like any crappy simulator, some random simulator that has a battle pass, you've probably realized that like some eggs are either called series one eggs, update one eggs, season one eggs, so on. That's what we're kind of going to be getting in this pass. So we're going to be getting an exclusive series egg um, in this battle pass, which is... I don't know it's like gonna be extremely extremely rare so it's really nice to see that we can reset the battle pass and what he means by that pretty much is well once you finish it you can use gems up to five different times to reset your level all the way back to zero so you can grind all the way back up from going to assume level 40 if not higher or if not lower i just fished up a prismatic egg that's pretty rare but anyways as i was saying after you do it five times and you're no longer able to obviously well use gems you guys can use robux it's not said how many robux if i had to guess probably two or 300 robux hopefully not more than that to reset your pass back to zero and all the way up to 40 and yes you could reclaim every single reward now if you guys are hyped for this update make sure to let me know by hitting the like button and commenting down below your guys' thoughts on this update i already know i'm going to be grinding the living hell out of this pass so i can get loads of those eggs just so i can make a video for you guys here on youtube but anyways guys make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to never miss a future upload trust me you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's video but anyways guys i'm end this video here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace